Hey, well, this coronavirus has taught us to be super vigilant about cleaning. Things like washing our hands for a full 20 seconds and how to clean your Amazon and pizza boxes, which got me to thinking, hey, is steam effective at killing the coronavirus? We're gonna talk about that today on Steam Culture. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Brent, you're watching Steam Culture. Welcome, if you're a new viewer, welcome back to our longtime viewers. Well, I had this question, hey, I wonder if steam is effective in killing the coronavirus. So I did a little research and the overwhelming opinion that I found is, maybe, not sure, we don't know. That's what I got. But we do know this, that steam is used to kill viruses in laboratories in an autoclave. Now an autoclave builds a lot of pressure and when you build pressure, you build extremely high temperature which they use to kill the virus. We don't know if they're killing the coronavirus with it, but we do know that it's killed like SARS um, viruses in the autoclave situation. But we're not dealing with an autoclave, are we? Well, what do you do when you have to clean your carpets, your mattresses, um, all sorts of things like that with a household steamer, which clearly is not working. There we go, can you see the steam, Tyler? All right, well, this thing isn't building any pressure, but it is building some steam and some temperature. So I found a little research that says steam can be used for upholstered furniture, drapes, and things like that. But what about hard surfaces like your countertops and things like that? Well, the CDC recommends hot water, soap, and follow that up with disinfectant, which is what obviously the guidelines that we recommend you follow. But I found a professor from Cornell University that says, hey, I know a way to add a little oomph to the CDC, CDC guidelines that will help you clean, and that's to add steam to your cleaning practice. Here's why. So the coronavirus is what's called an enveloped virus, which means you got the virus and then you have this protective membrane of fat around the outside, but that outer layer is very sensitive to detergent, hence all the hand washing. That's what breaks down that outer layer so that the virus will be exposed and die. So what the suggestion is, is that let's take that hot soapy water and let's take that detergent. Let's wipe the countertops down, but then let's hit them with a blast of steam from our, uh, our household steam cleaner, which would give a little extra oomph to that cleaning. So no empirical evidence, no scientific evidence that actually works. Although if you go Google it, there's tons of debate that it works. But we want to share with you, we'll put a link to the article down below because it's pretty interesting. Maybe one day we'll find out that steam is the ultimate solution to killing viruses, both in the autoclave and out of the autoclave. That'll be a great story for steam cultures. Thanks for joining us this week. I will work on something for you next week. It was really nice to be in front of the camera this week instead of just playing old episodes for you. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you next Friday. Stay well.